Yo, what's happening guys, it's Clossius X, and I want to do a video today, I don't know if you've seen the Humble Bundle this week, but it's got Game Maker Studio and the Android export module for $12. Now that is a ridiculous steal, along with all these games as well. Honestly, I paid £60, like GBP, for the module, and £60, I think it was 60 might have been 30 for Professional. So you can get a lot of it for $12, which I think you should get. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do a tutorial on how to get started making a simple game for Android uh, with Game Maker Studio. So I'm going to do this in parts. So I'm going to do part one, just setting up all your sprites and things like that. And then part two, we'll be putting it onto the Android phone. And then part three, I'll just be testing it and stuff. Uh, so yeah, let's just jump in. So what you'll need first of all is you need to download Android SDK. Um, I'll put a link in the description below. You can just download it and put it into your documents or something. Once it's in your documents, I will show you the exact place where you need to link it up. Uh, you'll also need the NDK, which is part of the Android SDK. You need to install it separately as part of it. But yeah, you can just extract it to somewhere. Um, yeah, and then what what I do is you can go to a website called graphicriver.net. This is what I do. I'll show you. And then just type in game kit. Now, if you can't draw, this is the best website for you because I can't draw myself, and I use this website a lot to get sprites. So if you type in game kit, you can like purchase, you know, like sprite sets to make like simple games like this and they're absolutely perfect for Android as you can see you get all the sprites to get started even like the backgrounds and stuff like that and it helps a lot so yeah I've already purchased one and I'll show you the one I purchased uh, downloads and this is the one I'm going to be using today so it's this one it's basically Super Meat Boy type thing and that's the kind of game that we're going to be making. It's just a simple Super Meat Boy style, you know, run and jump, that kind of thing. Uh, right, okay. So let's go into the actual game maker. So what you want to do is you want to extract your sprites to a certain folder. The whole set of sprites so that you know exactly where they are. Um, and then you want to go into your game settings and click Android. And then you can click off these two. And it'll take about 5 megabytes off your download. And then orientation, you want to choose whether you can play your games just portrait or landscape or upside down as well. What I tend to do is, depending on the game I'm making, you know, you want to set it as pretty much, I say landscape would probably be a best bet for Android. Yeah, haptics are like the buzz buzz, so like if you get hit you can make your phone shake and things like that. But yeah, we don't need that for now. Um, then com company name you could just put like I usually just put Colossius X or Colossus if I'm French uh, yeah so what we're going to do is just click on sprites oh actually sorry before we do that let's go into preferences click Android and then you have to link up those SDK files that we just downloaded so literally just click on the little arrow select the location Select where you've installed the Android NDK, part of that Android file. And also you'll need the Java development kit, the latest version of it. And then literally just click check, check, and then it should say OK, OK, OK. You also want to get your key store. I'm going to actually blank this out just in case. You don't want to ever give anyone your key store or anything like that. But yeah, this, just click generate and it'll make you a key store and then you keep that. Right, so click OK, and then go into your sprites. You want to create a sprite, and then just click Load Sprite. Desktop. Now, you want to go to that folder where you've put all your files. So I think I put mine in... Wasn't, I think it was Space Game. You see, I've downloaded a lot of those game kits. Right, let me just pause. Right, so I found the files. So what we're going to do is just going to go into Load Sprite, Desktop, and then we put it into a folder called Shoot. Um, and then we want to go into Character Animations, 
and we want the run animation then we just click on this and then click edit sprite file add from file and then just shift hold shift click the first one or well, the second one and then click that one and then click open now if we click preview we've got the animation just change that to about 15 just to check it and that is basically the running animation that we're going to use so just click OK send to the origin and call it sprite on SPR underscore hero run and then duplicate it and then load another sprite and then we're going to get the idle one the standing sprite and again add from file select that one to end and this will be the idle one so when you're not pressing any keys this is the animation that will play out basically right so we're just going to call this sprite hero idle right and then duplicate that and then we need the jump animation now for the jump there is actually a jump one but I don't think it fits so we're just going to make our own we're going to go to run make this into our jump animation so sprite underscore jump hero jump just keep it all neat so and then we want to duplicate that and just check if there was any other ones we've got attack so that's basically just for slicing in it right we've got wall slide we can use we've got stand that's obviously the idle one spawn yeah so this is one that we want to use So now this one is like a sprite sheet, so what you want to do is click on Edit Sprite File, Create from Strip, and then get that file again. So where are we? Here we are. Uh, character Animations, and then just click on... Where did it spawn? Right, click on the object. Now it depends on your own personal sprite that you're using here. But for this one, I've already checked it, it's like 60, so it's basically like 20 pictures, so 1, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Alright, let's make this a full page, eh? It's about 24, I think. 24, and then the size is 64 by 64. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Twenty-five, right, so twenty-five. So just change that to twenty-five. And then click OK. And it'll basically break it into like that sprite sheet that we did. Right, perfect. So that's basically when he spawns in, he'll appear instead of just being in the game straight away. So we'll do sprite underscore hero spawn and then center again. Right, perfect. Now we've got four sprites that we can use. Now sprites are pretty much useless uh, as objects until you actually create the object. So we click on create object and then we change it to sp sprite hero idle and just call this one object underscore hero. Right, and we're going to be making a physics based platformer so if we click users physics modify the collision shape now that's pretty much perfect for what we want because it doesn't need to be perfect it's only an android game so you know we don't need to be have it too perfectly like on the exact model so that'll do for now Let's save it and then we want to create a sprite click edit sprite and we want to make this say about 200 width by 64 height and um, that'll do for now double click on it and just basically paint it a color that you know you, you know you can see just simple like this because this is basically just going to be a marker so we do sprite underscore floor and then center that again and then create an object so put the floor in and call this object floor a lot of people use parents but I prefer to use separate objects right click box 
just make sure that's like covering that whole object and then click add event collision object hero then click control and just drag this little exclamation mark in and put slash slash and that basically just means that they'll collide now so save it I also like to go into the uh, hero object as well and just put the collision for him as well on the floor just so you've got it double checked basically right. cut that out slash slash right so let's just test that for now and see what happens so if we create a room just right click create you've got this basic room which is just nothing and you've got to think about what it's going to look like on Android so I tend to just make it look similar to an Android basically yeah so so do about 400 and that kind of looks Android landscape mode if that makes sense and change this I usually change it to 60 and then room underscore main right and then just create an object this is all being updated this is all new oh good now they've updated it which is cool so then just click the objects at the top and then just click and drag your object hero in and then object floor now what you want to do is with object floor change its density to zero and its friction to zero and this will literally just make it still it won't do nothing it'll just be stuck right and then if we click play at the top now we should be going about 100 miles an hour as you can see he's just you know he looks silly doesn't he basically he looks ridiculous so what we want to do is put a bit of code in